What's for dinner? Hey everyone, I'm Chef Z and you're watching Chef Z Cooks. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make sopa de pollo, which is a chicken soup. And not just any chicken soup. We are making a Hispanic style chicken soup, which is so good. And one thing's for sure, there's like a million and one ways of making this soup. And today I'm going to be showing you how I like my soup. This is my absolute favorite way of making it because it really has some traditional flavors from my childhood, but it also incorporates some of my absolute favorite ingredients like yuca and aoyama. Now, I will be walking you through some of the substitutions that you can add into the soup throughout the video and at the end as well. Let's go ahead and jump right into this recipe. I love making some sopa de pollo because it is the definition of comfort food and whenever you're not feeling well this automatically makes you feel better. We're going to start off by seasoning the chicken and we're actually going to keep things fairly simple. We're going to add some mashed garlic and then we're also going to add some Dominican oregano but regular oregano will also do. We're going to add some chicken bouillon cube, about half the amount that the recipe calls for. And then we're also going to add some fresh black pepper. Next, we're going to add only one half of the lime because you don't want your soup to be too, too sour. In fact, it's not going to be sour at all, but if you add the whole lime, it'll definitely be a little bit sour. We're now going to mix everything until it's well combined. Now the beauty of this dish is that you can definitely let the chicken marinate for at least 2 hours or 20 minutes or you can go ahead and you can add it into the pot right away. So once you season the chicken, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some oil into a heated pot. Now keep in mind, you want to do this over a medium flame. And once that oil gets nice and hot, we're then going to add the chicken. I like to add the drumsticks and kind of let that brown and saute for a few minutes. And then I like to go ahead and I like to add the chicken breast. Now we're not going to brown the chicken completely so that it takes on that beautiful golden color because then that's going to make the soup be a little bit brownish and I want to keep the soup fairly light so I'm only going to brown it just so that that outer exterior kind of seals just like you see right here afterwards we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the diced onions the carrots and we're also going to add celery and we're going to mix that all together until it's well combined and until the onions and the celery have a chance to sweat a little bit Afterwards, about two or three minutes later, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a ton of water. Now remember, this is a soup, so you wanna add enough water so that the chicken is completely submerged. Afterwards, once that water comes to a boil, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to add our fresh yuca, but you can definitely add some potatoes. We're also going to add some aoyama, and we're going to add the rest of the chicken bouillon cube. We're gonna add some whole allspice, which is malagueta, and some fresh cilantro, and we're going to mix everything until it's well combined. Now, you guys are probably wondering what is allspice and what is malagueta. It's an awesome spice, and it's going to give it that traditional flavor, so definitely give it a try. Now, in order to build color, I am going to add just a tiny bit of sasson with saffron. They come in the little packets and I like to add just a little bit because I do like to keep my soup nice and yellow. Now once that soup has thickened up a little bit, about 20 to 30 minutes and it's almost done, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the noodles and I like to just crush it up with my hands just like you see here. Now keep in mind that my soup has this beautiful color because of the aoyama which is kombucha squash and it's the same thing that I did with the asopal de pollo. We're going to add just a tiny bit more water because it was getting a little thick and I want to give those noodles a chance to cook. Now because it's angel hair pasta, it's really thin, it's only going to take about 3-5 to five minutes to cook. So depending on your pasta that you use, it might take a little bit longer. So there you guys have it, my recipe for some sopa de pollo. If you have any questions, comment down below. And until next week, I'm Chef Z y buen provecho. 
Hey guys, so I wanted to share some quick-ish tips on this recipe just so that you get it right each and every single time. So I mentioned before that you have a ton of different options whenever you are making this dish. And one of those options is the chicken. So I use bone-in chicken and chicken breast, but you can go ahead and just use chicken breast. Do keep in mind though that bone-in chicken is going to give you a much more robust flavor, especially whenever you're making soups and stocks. That's not to say that the chicken breast still won't give you a soup that's to die for. Now in this recipe, I also use malagueta, which is whole allspice. It's a very classic Caribbean spice and it's super tasty. However, it is not tasty if you bite into it. It's actually going to be a little bit bitter. If you are serving this soup to little kitties and, you know, go ahead and just take the malagueta out of the soup because we definitely don't want any accidents. Now, you have a couple of options in terms of what type of starch you want to add to this soup. I used my favorites, which are yuca and aoyama, but you can definitely go ahead and just use potatoes, whether it's golden potatoes or Idaho potatoes. Now, if you're only going to use potatoes, you're definitely going to have to use some type of coloring agent. So I use the sazon with the saffron in it and you want to go ahead and add little by little poco a poco because if you add the whole packet you're going to end up with a super orangey soup and that's definitely what you don't want the aoyama helps the color but of course if you're not using it the sazon packet is going to be the thing that gives it that classic color and last but not least, you have options in the type of pasta that you can use. So you can do how I did today, which is where I used some fideos and I crumbled it up just using my hands. You can use some of my favorites like ditalini and some small pasta shells. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions on today's recipe, comment down below or visit my website. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that bell so that you're notified each and every single time I post an all new video. And speaking of videos, I have so many for you right here.